There we go. I haven't really used Skype to record an interview in a long time, so hopefully this works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it looks like it's recording. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> but anyway, everybody who's watching, this is Jenna with Damnation Vault, and I am here with Cecilia from Sin Heresy. How are you? It, it's evening time where you are in Italy. <laughs> Yes, yes, it's evening time, almost dinner time, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty much lunchtime out here in North Dakota. <laughs> yeah, so you are about to come out with a new album on August 25th called Event Horizon. So first of all, let's chat about the album cover, because it was done by Gustavo Sazas. I hope I'm pronouncing exactly. <laughs> Hopefully pronouncing his name right. Um, how do you feel that the artwork really captures everything that Event Horizons is all about? Yes, yes, I totally do. I think that Gustavo perfectly catched the the, um, the meaning beyond the, the the whole album, the whole songs. Um, we really didn't give him too much uh, inputs except for the the general subject that we want to have on the cover artwork uh, and then he realized that this amazing uh, centered figure with uh, such amazing colors that in my opinion catch perfectly uh, not only the not only it's beautiful to see, but also it's beautifully connected to the whole meaning of the album. Yes. Okay, yeah, the opening track, um, this this calling, or the calling, sorry. Calling? <laughs> it, yes. It, it, it like kind of has to do with getting through grief. It's like an inspiring song to get through it. So how do you feel? And, First of all, it's beautiful, by the way. Like your entire album is. <laughs> but Thank you. How do you how do you feel like you really connect to that song and what was the inspiration behind it? Well, th this is quite a, a hard question because you you caught the meaning of the song. It, it is a song of grief, of trying to uh, surpass. The, the grief because I I lost my father two years ago and um, he he was um, a really uh, passionate about uh, stargazing he taught me uh, how to recognize the stars uh, in the north in the night sky uh, the names of the stars and uh, uh, it's a memory of him that it's really so close to my heart and the lyrics are um so a uh, kind of a, a tribute to to him and to his memory it's it's, yeah, that's what, it's really quite difficult to still although two years have passed it's quite difficult to talk about it yeah grief, grief is definitely hard to get through uh, music is yeah so amazing because it just it like if you're writing it it helps you get through things and if you're listening to it it helps you get through things so yeah yeah it's it's really true it helps you to see things uh, to keep a bit of distance and to put on paper your true feelings and to kind of analyze them and to welcome them and accept it even these hard times yeah and you have another song on the album called brighter days which is like like another like hopeful song to get through yeah, yeah. grief or something difficult so what 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 when you were like in the creation process for that song like what was something that really stood out to you like or a moment that happened when everything came together for the song 
Oh uh, yeah, uh, for that song in particular, the inspiration is really, um, really similar to what I <laughs> I end up writing because it was a rainy day, and um, I I was um, outside, and so I could not but <laughs> take the rain <laughs> because I had no cover. But it was a kind of a very gentle rain rain uh, a summer a summer day of rain so it was not a uh, really a storm so it was even quite pl pleasant to let the rain uh, over my face over my hands over my body and uh, uh, it felt like i was uh, delivering some some weight some bad sensation that i had inside of me and to let it let it go with the rain and so i had the inspiration uh for the lyrics of this song okay yeah it's, it's really it's cool because sometimes when you are having a really hard day or something and you go outside it it like helps snap you back into the moment it helps like just you're not thinking about the future or the past you're just right there like especially like yeah. when you're feeling the rain or yes like yes the birds chirp or something like that it's it's really cool your your album is beautiful i love it that it has so many different like sides to it like you can tell there are some songs that are from from my perspective anyway like getting through like people hurting you really bad too <laughs> Which... <laughs> thank you thank you very much for for appreciating the album thank you yeah yeah it's really it's really cool it's what like i so i read that you originally were like a nightwish cover band like yeah way back and now like you have this beautiful sound you can definitely hear the nightwish you know influence so what what are some of your other like whether it be like vocal inspirations, musical inspirations that you feel have really helped develop your sound to what it is now for Event Horizon? Uh, well, when we first started, yes, we were an, um, a cover band. We did Nightwish covers uh, just to get known uh, in our in our area to do the first concerts. And so, of course, the influence, I think it's still hearable in our songs. But in time, we uh, decided to embrace all the, uh, the influences we have, uh, not only uh, from the symphonic metal world, but also from our uh, new metal youth because we grew up also with uh, Evanescence, Linkin Park uh, and uh, um, bands like that and um, also some other um, newest bands uh, uh, with um, more metal core sound uh, um, maybe melodic metal core such as Architects uh, or bands uh, um of of that kind with with that kind of sound so we decided not to stick to only one genre as we we did before when we started composing and starting playing more than 10 years ago now <laughs> but we decided to to use all the influences that are part of ourselves and to put it in the compositions. Okay, yeah, and going back to um, like talking about some of the songs on your album, you have the self-titled, um, or the title track, I mean, it spans three songs. One is instrumental, and then another one is a full song, and then the last one, which is the closing track, it's it's kind of short it's um it's a, it's kind of like repeating one of the verses in the previous song too 
So how do you feel like that is, embodies the album? Uh, yes, the um, title track is separating in, in three uh, different uh, tracks um, because we wanted to represent uh, um, a kind of a journey as the journey of life is uh, before, even before our birth. So maybe the intro with this instrumental atmos atmosphere can be something mysterious, can recall something that maybe we, beside, behind our, our brain, we have still some memories, some feelings of maybe a previous life, maybe, I don't know, something before our birth. Then the song in itself, it's, it's life, uh, even in the lyrics, even in the, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, in the exchanges of the vocal parts, we, which are really fast and strong, uh, life in itself is um, his heart. And he is um, a, a very mm, a high pace race, I would say. <laughs> and then in the end, the last track, the last, uh, the third step, uh, it's finally when we are close to the end, uh, well, when we are close to death, I imagine it as an event horizon because that is the, the border, let's say, uh, after which we don't know what happens. We cannot know what happens after crossing the event horizon. And so that's the moment of uh, um, awareness, I think, I, I imagine. I imagine it to be so. And that's the closing of the title track and also of the entire album. Oh, wow, that's so philosophical and beautiful. Wow, thank you for sharing <laughs> that. <laughs> that's, it. that's really cool. Yeah, when you were also like creating the, the songs for these albums, were there any other moments that you had where inspiration just hit you like so intense that you were just like, okay, I have to write these lyrics down or a melody or something? And what was going on in that moment? Well, it it happens most of the times because. Um, uh, first of all, the songs are composed by Lorenzo, the guitarist, um, which is also who is also my boyfriend. So we live together. So uh, I I can check on the computer everything that he he does that he records, and sometimes I get inspired immediately by what he writes, and sometimes I need uh, maybe days, weeks, months, <laughs> years, in, in, some, in some occasions also years. I let, I let the songs sink, but finally when I find uh, the right moment, uh, uh, something clicks in, okay, this song will speak of this. <laughs> and I go with uh, the argument, I go, with uh, the main uh, idea, uh, a draft lyrics. Um, then after that, I rearrange a lot of times the lyrics, but the main idea always uh, comes up uh, in, in just a few minutes. When I find, uh, okay, this is the right idea, I go, I go down on paper and write. And it happened most of the times also with uh, um, Black Spirit. Um, well, I, I would say with all the songs in the album. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Black Spirit is another cool song. That's the second track. Yes, yes. Yeah, that one, <clears throat> that one is really cool too. Like, and I saw it on the lyric sheet, it was inspired by another song. 
So can you tell us more about that? Yes, yes, it was inspired not by a song, but by a manga, uh, by Yuki Tabata. The manga is called Black Clover. Okay. And um, it is uh, quite a traditional manga uh, in the wake of, uh, I would say, uh, Naruto, <laughs> uh, where the main character is... Uh, um, quite uh, oppressed because he, he is different, because he, he is uh, weak, but he, he is uh, strong in, in his soul. He never gives up. He always tries, he always tries to um, Im improve himself. And so when I first heard the guitars of that song, that uh, that sound gave me the same sensation. Okay, it's it is an uplifting song. It is a song about never giving in, and and so that made me think about that character of that manga. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, and also, um, oh, I hope I'm not having a blank out moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sometimes when I think of questions like what to ask and then it gets to the point where I got to ask them it's like oh no where did it go <laughs> but then it usually comes back oh the, yes here we go <laughs> um, okay <laughs> it happens <laughs> um being from Italy I I've never been out there and what it, how do you feel like your sound embraces Italy's culture and the the music scene, not necessarily metal scene, but the music scene in general with Sin Heresy? Well, I think that right now, uh, Italian music scene, uh, especially in, in metal, rock and metal, is quite uh, uh, alive. It's, it's really... The, it's really plenty of good bands and not also good bands, but good bands who are able to um, uh, surpass the borders of Italy and uh, let themselves be known uh, in all Europe and also in, in the whole world. Um, I think that maybe Italy once was uh, quite ignored for the metal scene because I don't know it's like we didn't um, you know we are known for our very classical musical scene of uh, um, 60s 70s uh, uh, I don't know lyrical singer operatic singers and uh, very pop music um, so we we as a country didn't have a, a, a very solid strong rock culture but i think that in the last 10 years this tendency is 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 going to be inverted and uh, finally we are uh, taking taken seriously by the whole metal scene in the world as Italians. Yeah, it's a, I have a, I've only interviewed, I think maybe just one other band from Italy, Sick, spelled S-Y-K. They're on House Court Records. But, and they're, they're amazing too. It's, a, it's so, I know they're from like up in the mountains of Italy. I'm not sure the exact town. <laughs> but it's, it's really cool to like talk to bands from all over the world to get to know like a sense of, you know, because music, it embodies, you know, culture, especially like where yeah. everything is from. Has there been a song where that you've written that you feel mm -hmm. that like was inspired by a monument or something that you saw of like beautiful landscape or something 
like going through Italy and where was that? What was that? Oh, um, I think I've never wrote uh, a song inspired by a specific place of Italy. Um, no, I think I've never I've never done it. But for sure, uh, we did a song who he is inspired by a very Italian <laughs> Italian way of being, I would say, which is how many ways exist to die. <laughs> um, it's it's a song that we made only as a single in 2020, um, just as an Halloween special song. And it's quite it's really quite ironic uh, and sarcastic, I would say. And that's a, a very it, Italian style of, of being ironic. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, I think that that uh, encompasses also our Italian culture. But as for monuments or specific places, I have never wrote songs uh, about a specific place in Italy. Okay. And now I have to ask, though, has there, what is your most favorite place to go to in Italy that that you feel is like one of the most beautiful places that you've been? Oh, <laughs> uh, Italy really has a lot of amazing places. Amazing, amazing. Um, I, I, I would say my hometown, indeed, <laughs> because um, Trieste, it's, it's not the place, um, it's not my original place, origin place, but it's the place where I, I knew my bandmates, and now I live, and now I work here, and uh, he, it really is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. It has an amazing uh, the, the main square, Piazza Unita, is uh, just by the sea, and um, it's like it's like magic when you see uh, the sunset in that square. So uh, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be a a home lover, and I would say Trieste. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. I'll have to one of these days when I travel to europe i'm gonna i'll, I'll go visit because i want to see yeah. all these places <laughs> and, and experience all the music like from the source <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so i have one more question about your album your new <laughs> album coming out um through scarlet records by the way for everyone watching um what if you were to uh, like step back and look and listen to the album as a fan rather than like your your musician self what would be one of the songs that you feel like you would be like the most excited to hear live and just or like your most favorite song <laughs> As a fan, listen. Yeah, it's not an easy song because, of course, writing the songs uh, prevents us to have a, a real first impact. <laughs> we we already know what <laughs> what is going on on, on the album. <laughs> Probably, if I would listen to it without knowing uh, any song, maybe. I would stick the most to mm, yeah, uh, quite, quite difficult. Probably, I would say revolution. Okay, revolution, uh, because it has uh, uh, in that song you can hear. Uh, most of our influences from uh, early 2000 years. So it's the period in which I grew up. And so maybe I would recognize that in the song and I would 
uh, love it at first listen. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for answering my questions. Those are all that I have um, right now. So until we do another interview down the line. <laughs> um, yes, when, when you will come in Italy to see yes, Trieste? Yes. <laughs> yes, when I come to Italy. <laughs> I'm always telling bands to come to Fargo, North Dakota too. So you'll have to come out here too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll do this uh, exchange. <laughs> yes, and I, I feel like we have some some twin vibes going on right now. <laughs> so it would be like, like we do, it's kind of crazy to, to look at the screen. We kind of look alike in a way. <laughs> Maybe maybe we're long lost twins or it's like in another alternate universe or something. <laughs> but but yes, until until we meet in person. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview. Thank you, thank you very much for having me in your channel, and uh, I hope uh, I really appreciate your compliments on the album. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, you have a wonderful rest of the evening. Thank you. You you too. Uh, uh, rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All Thank right. you. Bye.